is a silkworm. This is Nim again. Let's see if she's interested in it. Hmm, this is the first time she's ever encountered one of these, but apparently they're very good for your lizard. They um, are probably 54% fat or something like that. But they're very high in protein and they're quite high in calcium as well. It eats 100% mulberry leaves. I can buy silkworm chow online at reasonable prices. Now I've raised this one from being very small, roughly about two centimeters, and now you can see it's about two, two inches. Now, yeah, she's still looking at it, but she doesn't seem that interested. I'll just um, keep seeing if she'll go for it. Now, silkworms—you can't really tell if they're male or female until after they've woven the cocoon. The, uh, the females apparently have large cocoons than the males. I mean, when, when they're definitely moths, you can tell the difference between the male and the female. The female is very large, while the male is quite small. But they roughly spend four weeks, four to five weeks, in the caterpillar stage, as you see now. And then they spend several weeks in the cocoon and... Uh, about a few days, 24 hours, two days or so as a moth. So really this is the, how they spend most of their life. Let's have a close up. <clears throat> oh. hmm. I think she liked it. Yeah, I think she did. I think that's a success. It took her a while to realise what it was. And these are the the other ones in here. So they're growing nicely. And then I've got some more over there. And then some little ones here. These are about a week old. So yeah, there you go. And that's my mulberry um experiment with silkworms. Oh.